Hello guys, Steve here, Shen RC, and today we have the Hosum. This here is uh, the 1 16th scale. This is an HB17-GR. This is a brushless, ready to run. Let's see what it has here. 2845 brushless motor, 116 scale up to 80 meter remote range, rubber tire, CVD metal drive shafts, independent suspension system, frequency 2.4, stuck protection, charging pressure limiting protection, over discharge protection, thermal protection on PCB, RC car battery, high capacity lithium ion battery, Remote control power supply, 2 times 1.5 volt AA batteries not included, recommended for ages 14 plus. Let's open this beauty and see what's inside. This is a four wheel drive, metal gears, aluminum oil filled shocks, motor heat sink with fan. That should be it. And maybe not. <laughs> now that should be it. Oh yeah, here she is guys. Oh, it's green. Nice. Instructions. Package really nice. Look how sharp that looks. These pull up and off. Take a look at it. There she is. Green. It looks like it has two bodies with a plastic coating over it so it'll even look nice and clear and shiny with that plastic protective coating off. Let's take off the lid real quick and see what other bodies on here. Nice pull clips. Two bodies. Yep. That's awesome. Nice red and black and a nice green and black with gray. That's cool. Before we look at the chassis, let's see what else is in here. This one looks real sharp. Looks like we got the instructions. Looks real good, shows the parts. All diagrams of the parts when you build it. That's good. Man, it's a good manual. See what's in here. Take the battery, radio. Let's see what we got. All packaged in nice bags. That's weird. This is the battery. Is that got a Dean's connector? It looks like a lipo in inside like a casing. 2S LiPo, what it looks like. Alright, what do we have here? We got extra body clips, a little Phillips head, and a charger, a USB charger. What do we have here? I'm going to take this out, but that's a wheelie bar you put on. What's 
this. We got like a little bag here. Feels like something's in it. Ow! No, just kidding. <laughs> We got more body clips. We got like a brush thing. We're cleaning it. Another Phillips head and some wheel nuts. Here's the radio. Let's take a look at it. Check that out. What's it have? A power button and a steering. And then a speed control. I think it goes from off 70 and 100%. I don't know how many batteries are going to take this out. That's why they give you this Phillips head. The screwdriver here. We got two AAs in the bottom here. Right there. Basic radio. It'll get the job done, I guess. Let's take a look at the chassis here now. There it is. It's got nice red oil filled shocks. See the dampening? Wheels. Is that green? Damn anyway, it. Green accents. That looks pretty cool. There's the bottom. Almost reminds me of a Traxxas, the way they designed this. Take a look inside there. Let's see how strong it is. Oh, that's a strong chassis. It don't twist. I guess it has a, looks like it's waterproof, brushless motor, looks waterproof, there she's in focus there, take a look at the fan, I guess the battery goes in right here, I don't know how this works, I twist it, just like that, that little knob, right there, and it opens up, and voila, the battery comes out. They give you two batteries, so that's nice. I click right in, just like that. That's cool. Look at the little radio receiver. That's awesome. The little antenna. See that? I'm going to hook this up with the batteries and just see how it is. Uh, Suspension on it feels good. The chassis. Well, look at that at the bottom. Reminds me of you know what. But anyhow, let's drop it real quick and see what it does. Oh yeah, it's nice. Look at that. My table's moving, but nice and smooth. All metal CV drives, dog bones. Oh no, they're CVDs. Nice CVD drives. It has that steering rack. Anyhow, let's put a battery on. This ain't fully charged, probably, but I'm going to put some A's in the radio real quick. And we'll see how it sounds. I'm guessing you. Plug this in like this. It's a weird connector, the way you do it. Kind of sideways like that. Put this in. Click that over. Now the power switch. 
Let me turn on your radio first. Pretty sure. Oh no, this is the power button here on this side. I think this is a bind. Alright, I just want to show you guys this button here I said was a bind button on the radio. That's not a bind button. Check this out. You press it, the lights come on. You press it, the lights go off. That's cool. And this is a pretty bright light, so you should be able to drive it in the dark. Really neat. So, I guess it has on that 70%, and this is 100% for the speed. Then you press this button right here. And it beeps. And lights up. Let's see how she sounds. Sounds like it'll move pretty good. Fan's working. Alright guys. I'm going to charge this up. And I'll have another video of me running it. But I'll have the link to this in the beginning and at the end of the video. And in the video description below. Let's see what it looks like again. Real quick little body on it. I'm a green kind of guy, so that's the green demon one. Keep a lookout for the video of this running. I'm sure I'm going to beat the snot out of it. I got to put the wheelie bar on right here. It screws on the rear to show you the instructions. Anyhow guys, that's it for this wholesome brushless little truck here to four wheel drive. Hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. Hit that bell so you don't miss future videos. If you're new watching, please subscribe and get ready for the run test video. I'll see you next time, guys. Shen RC out.